Welcome to the virtualization and network virtualization tutorial. Before I go any further, I'll tell you what we're going to be learning today. Why virtualization, virtualization, network virtualization, advantages, disadvantages, virtual private networks, virtual local area networks, and then a demo on OpenVPN. Why virtualization? This greater IT staff productivity saves money and increase the space utilization because you could be using 10 servers on one physical machine so money wise it makes life a lot cheaper for many enterprises virtualization is the creation of a virtual rather than an actual version of something such as an operating system a server a storage device or a network resource the usual goal of virtualization is to centralize administrative tasks while improving scalability and workloads Network virtualization cuts costs and it is the future internet. It is a method of combining the available resources in a network by splitting up the available bandwidth into channels, each of which is independent from the others and each of which can be assigned to a particular server or device in real time. Here is an image of a network virtualization. There's two different servers all connected to one virtual switch on one public network. Advantages. Server consolidation. It is not unusual to achieve, achieve 10 to 1 virtual to physical machine consolidation. This means that you can have 10 servers running off one physical computer. Testing and development. Server crashes that may require hours of reinstallation now take moments by copying a virtual machine image. Virtual desktops. Reduces desktop from footprint and hardware expenditure. Disadvantages. There's disadvantages to everything, and here are the three main ones I think are the most false with virtualization. High risk and physical fault. If you have many servers running on one physical server and there's a hardware fault, this put all the servers are put offline. Is the performance the same? RAM and CPUs may not be as good as physical servers or computers. Not supported on all applications. Some applications or operating systems may face issues with the virtual environment. Virtual private networks. A virtual private network, VPN, is a network that uses a public telecommunication infrastructure, such as internet, to provide remote offices or individual users with secure access to their organization's network. A VPN works by using the shared public infrastructure while maintaining privacy through security procedures and tunneling protocols such as Layer 2 tunneling protocol. An example of VPN is OpenVPN, which I'll be giving a demo on the installation and some of the documentation that comes with it later on in this tutorial. LANs, VLANs, Virtual Local Area Networks. A virtual LAN is a local area network with a definition that maps workstations on some other bases the geographic location. The virtual LAN controller can change or add workstations and manage low balancing and bandwidth allocation more easily than with a physical picture of a LAN. Here is a VLAN 1 and VLAN 2. Segregation a LAN into two virtual LANs broadcast and forwarded by the VLAN. Here are the references that I used today. Welcome to the OpenVPN demo where I'm going to show you how you install uh, OpenVPN and also the documentation you can use through OpenVPN. Firstly, you just Google OpenVPN, it's the easiest thing to do, and it's openvpn.net. Here you are given a list of things, and the easiest way is to go into download straight away. As you can see, there's many different OpenVPNs that you can download, but today I'm going to show you the 2.21 download. This was released in July 2011. There's three types. I'm going to do Windows installer for you today. It's very simple. You just click here. It installs quite rapidly and you press on that. It's a yes. Then it's a setup wizard so there isn't really much to it for setting this up. Anybody would be able to do it. That's just a license agreement. You agree with this. These are components that you'll be installing with OpenVPN. You have your OpenVPN GUI, 
you've got all the SSL um, components as well. So it really is everything there for you. So it's just next. Um, the folder is in your local disk, um, the program files. That's where everything you save will go into. Now this will take a few minutes to download. So all that is happening. that is happening, sorry about that, I will show you the documentation. This documentation is very important for anyone that wants to use OpenVPN. It actually has everything you need to know. Anyone could get started even if they don't have a background in network virtualization or virtualization. It shows you how to install it first of all, which I've already shown you. Then you can pick whether you're going to be a rooted or bridged VPN and it tells you about that. So I'll just show you here. You'll know then by after reading this what you are actually going to be picking. You can set up certificates, keys, multiple clients, um, you create a configuration for server and client, which is first and foremost the most important thing because everything starts with the server and client because you will be connecting from one to the other. You have all the files in the sample file directory, which I will show you right here. Um, it's in your program files in your local disk and you've got your config files here um, and you've got your easy RSA and then you've got your sample config which that shows you what yours should look like by the end of it. Go back to this now. After that, after you've set up your server and client, that's when you can set up the certificates. You have to set up a certificate for both server and client and you will be using this for asymmetric security. There's also symmetric security and unprotected security. Um, you will need you don't need certificates for that, but you will need sample files and the SATA key, which has to be the same on both machines, both the server and the client machine. When you have this done, you can do your asymmetric security, and then there's also another form of asymmetric security, which is user authentication, where both the server and the client have to give a password and a user ID. From that, there's many other things. That you can do with um, OpenVPN. You can create OpenVPN server via the HTTP proxy. Um, you can revoke your certificates, you can change everything. It's not all in one. If you are using one computer, you'll have to change the IP address according to that computer you're using and the other desktop you're using. But if you ever want to open your files in a different computer, you just have to save your config files and then transfer them into the other computer. Now I'll just see if OpenVPN is finished installation, so you just press next. You can show and read me and then finish. And to get into that, when it's installed there'll be the icon down on your toolbar. Here you can click into, as you see I've made some earlier, so I have the client and the server already set up. Set up. Here you press connect and then on the opposite so on the opposite computer you're using you press connect and hopefully if you have everything working right and the command prompts working right that both computers will connect. Therefore you can do remote desktop and anything to do with your own little network that you have going on itself. Finally, that's the main things you need to know about OpenVPN and I hope that you learned a lot and gained some education from this tutorial and this demo. Thank you for listening and bye bye.